Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight. Lauren has the night off, but it is something different that's been added to Kamehameha Highway in Haula. And many residents are asking, what is it? The Department of Transportation has been working on emergency repairs in that area for several weeks now. And a new erosion barrier has many residents wondering if it will even work. Nikki Shenfield joins us now to explain. Nikki. Well, Howard, they're called Kyoya bags or surge bags, and they're relatively new to Hawaii's roads. Nearly 300 are being added to the 1,500 foot stretch of highway. After two weeks of emergency repairs, crews are starting to wrap up their work on Kamehameha Highway in Haula. But as work is coming to an end, Haula residents are asking what's with the rocks in the mesh bags? Well, it looks very interesting. I'm sure the engineers uh, know what they're doing. It's uh, better now since January the 4th when they started this project. Residents have taken to social media with their concerns on the temporary fix. How long will it last? How sustainable is it against the coastal tides and the everyday uh, road wear and tear of the heavy equipment that rolls across the Kamehameha Highway on the North Shore? The DOT says the surge bags are used extensively across Japan. And they've also been used on Kuhio Highway and Kalani Anaole Highway within the last two years. They're tested to be UV resistant and they're put there to um, dissipate the wave energy. And they're porous so that if, you know, algae or sea life grows, can grow on it, it'll be a supportive environment for that. In the past, the DOT built seawalls in areas like Ka'a'ava, which some Ha'ula residents would like to see. But the DOT says these bags won't break apart like the walls did. These Kiowa bags, they take the energy and they disperse it instead of transferring it to adjacent shorelines. Another community concern is the mesh material. A lot of folks fish here daily and they use what, some type of spiking on their fishing poles and I think that may cut the nets and we'll, we'll lose this barrier. That's a concern. We appreciate uh, the Department of Transportation getting down here under emergency circumstances repairing this road. But I think as a community, what we're looking for is a stable, ongoing, permanent solution. And the DOT says tonight was the last night of the northbound lane closure. They said they will work seven days a week from 7 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. to finish the project by the 27th. Part of that includes repaving and adding guardrails or delineators. Howard. Nikki, thank you very much. It was a bad case or an 